No! <laughs> What'd you do to me? What did you do to me? Horrendous Astros? She's horrendous? Really? <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Alrighty guys, hey yo, what is up knights? Aegis Rick here back with some more PvE on my Elven Knight in DFO. Now along with this PvE video, I'm going to be releasing the first of many PvP videos that I've been rendering. I wanted to do a little bit of editing work on that, that's why it's taking so long, but I know if you guys are getting tired of PvE and you guys want to see some action with some commentary, that's coming soon. But anyway guys, we are level 79 on my Elven Knight. Don't have any changes to gear, but got a lot of changes to levels, also changes to build, so I do want to make a skill build at, at one point but I don't know when that's gonna be because as I'm making this video right now um, in about like five days or so they're gonna be releasing these uh, level 85 cap uh, release so I'm gonna hit level 80 which is the max level cap now and then I'm gonna get instantly thrust into a new level cap you guys can see uh, since the last video sorry I haven't been recording any of it but uh, we have been streaming so if you guys have been catching on the stream make sure to subscribe or follow me on twitch but we've been doing all of these basically on stream um, and right now I want to show you guys the time gate dungeon, which, um, today actually I've gotten a ton of EXP. I've been doing everything like mentorship and, uh, using FP pot. So, um, everything has been going really well, but guys, we're jumping into the time break dungeon, which is like the bonus dungeon at the end of the, uh, region. I guess you guys pretty much know these if you played the game because, uh, these dungeons are generally really, uh, EXP efficient. If you guys remember the pursuit train in the Bonhoeffen region. That was probably one of the best dungeons to farm all the way up into uh, level 74, actually. And then, you know, a lot of people know Fanatics um, for the, I want to say that's Behemoth region. You guys farm that to level 50. I mean, all of these are generally really good. So this one's no exception. The Time Break dungeon is extremely um, good. You guys can see kind of the gimmicks that are running right here. Um, you guys have these time gates that you have to break, and uh, if you don't break them, uh, the enemies can attack you mercilessly because uh, they're pretty much invincible until you do break the time gate. Um, oh, it's still not broken. Okay, let's do it. Um, you guys can see here we're decimating pretty much. Let's use our unbreakable charge. I don't know if I've even shown that uh, on video yet because I often forget to use it, but I uh, do have some changes to the build I want to mention right now. If you guys will see me using a few different skills. Um, I did max the Verdant Sword. This is one thing that I was kind of... These two skills right next to each other are kind of like if or. You know, you either get this one or this one. So, uh, if you do get this one though, you want to get the TP skill for it. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, I'd say this one's probably better than the Elven Jump just because it has longer range. The damage is pretty comparable. But, one of the biggest changes that I added back to the build was the Sentence skill. You guys can see the animation here. It doesn't look at harmless or harmful. Uh, actually, it looks kind of harmless. That's what I was getting at here. It's... It uh, doesn't seem like it's that powerful of a skill, and its damage is actually quite weak, but the reason I got it, and the reason it's so good, is because of the debuff that it casts on them. So, um, enemies that are afflicted with that debuff, actually, um, every hit that you do to them afterwards uh, will do a, a set amount of damage. So, uh, it, it's really potent against enemies that you uh, want to chain rush. If you use a high chain rush combo... What's happening? Can I get grabbed? Okay. Uh, if they're afflicted with a debuff and then you hit them with a chain rush combo, there's like no greater skill that or debuff that you can put on an enemy because he is going to take some massive damage. And you can probably see from me if I didn't get stunned here. It doesn't last very long, maybe three seconds or so, but you guys can see I just broke that time gate so quickly. And you guys can see right here, uh, I'm not getting canceled all the time. But you guys can kind of get the idea. Uh, every hit that I use. So you want to try to use heavy, uh, high hitting multi-hit skills like the Ancient Deer is a really good one to use while they're hit with the Sentence debuff as well as Lunge Evolution. So um, it's kind of the gimmick right there. Chain Rush in itself hits a lot uh, a lot of times. It's kind of the point of Chain Rush. So um, I use it pretty much every time I'm intending to use the Chain Rush just because it's so potent, man. It's really nice, especially against enemies that are rock solid right there. You guys can see uh, the enemy had the rock solid uh, buff to him, which makes him uh, heavily resistant to physical damage. Well, it doesn't really matter if you put the sentence debuff on him. So, all across the board, sentence is a skill. If you're using chain rush, and I know a lot of Elven Knights uh, don't like using the chain rush, but if you are using it, um, I cannot recommend that skill enough. Try to start your combos early on with it because it's going to be doing some work. Right here is a new uh, addition. 
Uh, not really a new skill, but we are at a higher level, so uh, you get different passives for it. So I think at level 6 or 7 of the Awakening, it recovers your HP and MP to full when you use it. Look at it. I'm back to full. I, was, I just used it to recover my mana. So mana is literally a non-issue now with the Elven Knight. Uh, because you can just recover it with the Awakening, which it itself has a pretty low cooldown. I'm trying to hit these guys. I haven't even broken time gate. Let's go. Alright. I did not use the Chain Rush very well right there. Alright. There you go. Okay, now we can attack these guys. This also give you a little bit of time to, to hit these guys while they're uh, stunned. That's part of the reason why I don't use that skill very often. And right there you can see what the sentence debuff did to that guy. I mean, he had a couple bars left and I barely even used any hard hitting skills and he just died immediately, so... Alright, luckily we got the easy boss in Time Break. Time Break, uh, the boss is different every time. Uh, there's, um, I want to say, four different configurations it could possibly be. So use the Chain Rush again. And uh, we just happen to get this uh, Sky Tower one, the Fallen, the Floating Castle. Time Gate, which we all know this boss is not that hard if you guys played old DFO. One thing I do have also now is a uh, assist type, which is the um, brawler, female brawler, and she does junk spin. It is really potent. That's something I'm using a lot. And use the Unbreakable Charge right there at the end, even though you couldn't see me. I was off screen a little bit, so... Yeah, I've gotten a lot of new things, guys. Um, kind of just utility things. For instance, the sentence is something that I've had to incorporate, uh, learn how to use. I don't even have it on the hotkey bar. I'm using command for that. Um, you know, I I did level up a level 50 female brawler just to get that really good assist with the junk spin. But there you guys can see um, the time break dungeon, how much EXP it gave. It, it gave... How much did it even give? I didn't even really look at it. It was like about a million EXP. That's mostly because there's an event going on right now. But either way, probably one of the biggest uh, EXP gains in dungeon. I, I gotta say, uh, you really want to do those dungeons that are the bonus dungeons at the end of your region. So the, the time gate region has this time break. Optimal definitely optimal that you want to keep doing this so anyway guys just wanted to show off the time gate before uh, we get the gosh we go over to the to the level 80 cap or 85 cap zone that's going to be coming really soon so i'm actually kind of surprised so anyway guys thanks for watching there's a little bit of an update on the elven night and um like i said at the beginning of the video make sure to stay tuned for the pvp content that's coming up here so anyway guys thanks for watching and I will catch you knights later.